Welcome to Home Library Book Review, where we select a book right from the shelf and explain its learning through easy to understand text, graphics, examples, and animation, along with discussion with family members. Today, we are going to review Ikigai by Hector Garcia and Francis Mireille. This book is an international bestseller. It has the Japanese secret to a long and happy life. We have divided this review in nine parts. This is part six of nine. It also has Goodreads rating of four out of five. Hector Garcia is a citizen of Japan, where he has lived for over a decade, and of Spain, where he was born. He is the author of several books about Japanese culture, including two worldwide bestsellers, A Geek in Japan and Ikigai. A former software engineer, he worked at Sen in Switzerland before moving to Japan. Francis Miralis is an award-winning author who has written a number of best-selling self-help and inspirational books. Born in Barcelona, he studied journalism, English literature, and German and has worked as an editor, a translator, a ghost writer, and a musician. Before we move further, Arnav, what is Ikigai? I think Ikigai means purpose. Yes. It could also be a motive, it can also be a cause, it could also be called as a reason and it could be the impetus that derives you. Ikigai is a Japanese term that means your life's purpose or why you get up in the morning. I can't wait to review further. How about you, Arna? Let's do it! Yay! Part 6 Lessons from Japan's Centenarians Traditions and Proverbs for Happiness and Longevity most of the people in Japan keep a vegetable garden and most of them also have fields of tea, mangoes and so on. All belong to some form of neighborhood associations where they feel cared for as though by family. They celebrate all the time, even little things, music, song and dance are essential parts of daily life. They have an important purpose of life on several. They have an ikigai, but they don't take it too seriously. They are relaxed and enjoy all that they do. They are very proud of their traditions and local culture. They are passionate about everything they do, however insignificant it might seem. They are always busy but they occupy themselves with tasks that allow them to relax. Number one, don't worry. The secret to a long life is not to worry and to keep your heart young. Don't let it grow old. Open your heart to people with a nice smile on your face. If you smile and open your heart, your grandchildren and everyone else will want to see you. The best way to avoid 
anxiety is to go out in the street and say hello to people do it every day go out there and say hello and see you later then go home and care for vegetable garden in the afternoon spend time with friends this way everyone gets along try not to cause problems spending time together and having fun is the only thing that matters number 2 cultivate good habits one of the centenarians says i feel joy every morning waking up at 6 and opening the curtains to look out at my garden where i grow my own vegetables i go right outside to check on my tomatoes my mandarin oranges i love the sight of them it relaxes me after an hour in the garden i go back inside and make breakfast i plant my own vegetables and cook them myself that's my ikigai the key to staying sharp in old age is in your fingers from your fingers to your brain and back again if you keep your fingers busy you will live to see 100 years i get up at 4 every day i set my alarm for that time have a cup of coffee and do a little exercise lifting my arms that gives me energy for the rest of the day i eat a bit of everything i think that's the secret i like variety in what i eat i think it tastes better working if you don't work your body breaks down to live a long time you need to do three things exercise to stay healthy eat well and spend time with people nurture your friendships every day getting together with my friends is my most important ikigai we all get together here and talk it's very important i always know i will see them all here tomorrow and that's one of my favorite things in life my main hobby is getting together with friends and neighbors talking each day with the people you love that's the secret to a long life i say hello and see you later to the children on the way to school and wave at everyone who goes by me in their car drive safely i say i'm outside on my feet the whole time saying hello to people once everyone's gone i go back inside chatting and drinking tea with my neighbors that's the best thing i like in my life and singing together i wake up at 5 every morning leave the house and walk to the sea then i go to a friend's house and we have tea together that's the secret to long life getting together with people and going from place to place live an unhurried life my secret to a long life is always saying to myself slow down and relax you live much longer if you're not in a hurry i make things with vicar that's my ikigai the first thing i do when i wake up is pray then i do my exercises and eat breakfast at 7 i calmly start working on my vicar when i get tired at 5 i go visit my friends doing many different things every day always staying busy but doing one thing at a time without getting overwhelmed the secret to long life is going to bed early waking up early and going for a walk living peacefully and enjoying the little things getting along with your friends spring 
summer, fall, winter, enjoying each season happily. Be optimistic. Every day I say to myself, today will be full of health and energy. Live it to the fullest. I'm 98 but consider myself young. I still have so much to do. Laugh. Laughter is the most important thing. I laugh wherever I go. I'm going to live to be a hundred. Of course I am. It's a huge motivation for me. Dancing and singing with your grandchildren is the best thing in life. I feel very fortunate to have been born here. I give thanks for it every day. The most important thing in life is to keep smiling. I do volunteer work to give back to the village a bit of what it has given to me. For example, I use my car to help friends get to the hospital. There's no secret to it. The trick is just to live. Let's summarize what we reviewed in part 6, lessons from Japan's centenarians, traditions and proverbs for happiness and longevity. Number 1. Don't worry. Number 2. Cultivate good habits. Number 3. Nurture your friendships every day. Number 4. Live an unhurried life. And finally, number five, be optimistic. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe. Also press on the bell notification button for more videos like these. Until next time, take care and bye.